In this example, we're going to multiply integers using the chip model, but these problems are going to be a little bit different. So let's see how. Use integer chips to represent and evaluate negative 3 times 5. So before, we used 3 copies of 5, but now we have a negative symbol. So what is negative 3 copies of 5? That's a little bit difficult to conceive of. So we're going to think of this instead as the opposite of three copies of five. So this symbol right here is going to correspond to the opposite of. So first we'll find three copies of five and then we'll take the opposite. So let's fill in our chart. So our number of copies is negative three. And again, we're going to think of this as the opposite, but that's what we have in our problem. The number in each copy is five. So now let's find three copies of five. So there's five. There's another group of five. and another group of five. So we have three copies of five, and now we're going to just put a line here. Here we're going to take the opposite. So remember, taking the opposite means basically reversing the sign of all of the chips. So, instead of positive chips, we're going to rewrite all of these as negative chips. There's the opposite of the first copy, the opposite of the second copy, and the opposite of the third copy. So notice we have the opposite of the three copies of five. So now let's write our symbolic form in our results. Okay. So we are going to think of this as the opposite of three copies of five, so adding five three times. And I'm putting the five in, fives in parentheses because remember, we found all of the fives first and then took the opposite. So this would be the opposite of 15 or negative 15. As multiplication, we would write this as negative 3 times 5 equals negative 15. So negative 3 times 5 equals negative 15. Let's look at the next example. Now we have negative 3 times negative 5. So we're going to think of this as the opposite of three copies of negative 5. So this symbol here, instead of a negative three copies, we're going to think of it as the opposite of the three copies of negative 5. Let's fill in our chart. Our number of copies is negative 3. Oops. The number in each copy is negative 5. So let's start by finding three copies of negative 5, and then we'll take the opposite. So there is one copy of negative 5, two copies. and three copies of negative five. There's the first one, second copy, third copy. Now we're going to draw a line and take take the opposite of these results. So the opposite of five negative chips is five positive chips. 
Now we'll take the opposite of the second row. And the opposite of the third row. So here's our the opposite of a copy of negative 5, the second opposite, and the third opposite. So all together we have the opposite of adding negative 5 to itself three times, which gives us the opposite of negative 15, which we know is positive 15. Kay. Using multiplication, we would write negative 3 times negative 5 equals positive 15. And that's our result. So the product of these two negative numbers was positive.